YouTube, what's happening? It's Mark here from Mark's Mind. This video is well overdue. Um, I'm gonna have to talk about a particular topic and unfortunately, because this platform has a problem with certain words, their algorithm just hates certain words that go against the narrative that they're trying to push in the mainstream media. I'm gonna have to speak in code. So apologies in advance for my roundabout way of speaking. Now, this video is about the tenderona and the punch, let's call it the punch, that they want us to get. They are pushing this thing 24 seven, that we must get it. And I'm just not for it at least for me anyway. If people wanna go out and get it, that's their business. The unfortunate thing is that what's happening is that their business is spilling over into my business, at least not yet for me living here in Japan, but the writing is on the wall with where this thing is going because they're trying to make this thing compulsory. We can see in New York where the mayor, uh, Bill de Blasio, is pushing for this thing to be compulsory. I'm using the word compulsory as opposed to using the M word. So they're pushing for it. And you know, I live in Japan where I'm told that the majority of people don't want the punch. But from what I'm seeing in my pro close proximity with in terms of my day jobs and that type of stuff, and with the amount of emails I get from them, um, it's safe to say that they very much so want us to get the punch. And it's just a matter of time before they start talking about us getting it um, as a compulsory thing. And so that's why for me, with my side hustles like Extreme Tees, the brand that I created, I am pushing all out. And my hair trimmer that I also sell for men with their grooming, um, I'm pushing real hard to promote my brand uh, so that I can create enough money to live off of because the writing is certainly on the wall about them making this punch compulsory. Now, I was watching a CNN report recently. You know, I have to subject myself to the pain of watching a mainstream media sometimes. And they were very positive about the punch. You know, they were saying that if you get the punch, then there is a 99.999% chance that you will not be hospitalized or die from the tenderona. Okay? So that still leaves a 0.001 chance that you could. But based on their numbers, those are some very good stats. And in that same report, they, have this, they had this analyst done and this analyst was saying that if you don't have the punch, then there's a 25 times more likelihood that you will be hospitalized or die. Now you think, wow, it's a 25% a more likelihood of me get, having some adverse reaction or, or dying. So I said, okay, let me do the math. And I only got a C in high school math, okay? I graduated high school with a C in math. So I'm by no stretch of the imagination, a math whiz. But I said, okay, let me break out the calculator. So that leaves that 0.001 chance of um, adverse reactions, hospitalization or death for the people who receive the punch. And with me having not received the punch, that's 25 times, so multiply that 0 0.001 by 25, that leaves me with a, a 0 0.025 chance of hospitalization or death. That means also that if I get this thing, there is still a 99.975 chance, 99.975% chance that I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be messed up for a while. I might get uh, get a fever. I might have aches and pains or whatever. But the odds seem pretty good. So 
So with those numbers that they're pushing in the mainstream, these are not my numbers. This is what this is what they're pushing. The people were telling that telling us that we must get the punch to save lives. Me without the punch, those numbers are pretty good. I'm a pretty healthy person. I'm not on, on any prescription drugs. I am at a healthy weight. I probably could lose maybe about 10 pounds. Okay. To get back to my ripped six pack look 10 pounds would get me there it, it wouldn't be hard and i, I you know I'm, i can do it um i eat healthy most of the time i do intermittent fasting to give my body time to use its stored fat to for energy and all that stuff i do intermittent fasting uh my diet is mainly healthy i supplement with certain things that even in the mainstream, they suggest that even if you've received a punch, you should still supplement with these things. And it's most likely gonna be on that part of the screen as I speak, because I can't say these things because when I did a video some months ago talking about this thing and my skepticism about this thing, they pulled my video on YouTube for spreading medical misinformation. So, um, I'm, that's why I'm speaking in such code. So, um, looking at those numbers, it just doesn't justify me getting it, especially because I was on the Charlie Delta Charlie's website a few days ago, and the particular section that is the Victor Alpha Echo Romeo Sierra section of their website, which records the from what I understand, a very small percentage of adverse reactions and deaths as a result of the punch. And after I watched a YouTube video on actually how to use this, the search, because that thing is complicated as hell, I did, a, I, I did a search putting in certain criteria. I was looking for things with the, with, the punch and in particular the punch that is in the mainstream media the 19 punch okay um i did a search on the punch i did this is for america i did all ages all genders and in particular searching for all manufacturers um of any type of punch with the specific criteria of death I didn't search on adverse reactions, I only searched on deaths. And it was surprising to me that when I looked in the list, I chose all manufacturers. When I looked in the list of manufacturers, I didn't see J and J, and I didn't see the, the Astra people. Okay, I didn't see those two, but I saw the modern A people and I saw two branches of the people who make Viagra and some other people who I think they don't make the 19 punch, but they are just on the list of American punch manufacturers. So I did a search and when I did the search, it said, um, we can only display 10,000 uh, results at any one time but it did say that there were 17,000 over 17 17,400 or so results so I started going through the laborious task of searching by manufacturer and I saw results for for the modern a people and the Viagra people of deaths and I searched only for 2021. And when I read those notes for each entry, and you know, it's a long list as you can imagine. But some of the stuff I was reading, it had stuff like patient. These are these the, the what I started reading were like for old people in their 80s or 70s. And I started going down the list. It's a lot, thousands upon thousands. It had stuff like patient or it said subject or you know got the punch at 9 a.m 
started complaining about chest pains at 12 p.m. Died at 12.30. And there's a whole bunch of stuff like this. People who snuffed it on the same day, next day, within a week. People who were healthy or relatively healthy snuffed out. And as I read through these, I didn't go through all of them, I have to admit, I'm not gonna go, go through everything. There's thousands upon thousands. Now the mainstream media will, will, will have you believe that, oh no, 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 that's just a small percentage of people who received the punch. So you shouldn't worry about that. I'm thinking, what wouldn't that be the same if you were to look at the numbers where based on what CNN are saying, who are really pushing this stuff, that people who don't have the punch still have a 99.975 chance of recovery, which leaves only a 0.025% chance of them uh, dying, right? So aren't those numbers good as well? Now I'm gonna take my chances with my system, my eye system, uh, my eye system, my natural eye system, because I live a fairly healthy lifestyle, okay? Drink lots of water every day, exercise, fruits, veggies, you name it. Supplement, all that type of stuff. So I'm just gonna take my chances. Now people, this is what people say to me, especially the people I know, friends and family, who have gotten the punch. They all say to me, oh my, but the people who have adverse reactions or die are a really small percentage. And what people fail to, to think about, maybe they do, maybe they don't. A lot of people I've learned don't really think much anymore. They just, they, they're, they're so controlled through their fear that they're not thinking. Is that they always assume that they're not gonna be in that small percentage. Now, just, just the same way, I could be in that 0.025 percentage, but I'm still happy with taking my chances if there's a 99.975 chance of me recovering. For all I know, I've had it already and recovered because from what they say, even in their mainstream media, around 80% of all people overall are asymptomatic. I hope that's not a word that their algorithm doesn't like. So for all I know, I've had it, right? I've had the tenderona. I, this, this thing has been over a year and a half now. I have used trains, I've gone to supermarkets, um, touched surfaces galore, ATMs, you name it. For all I know, I've been exposed, I was asymptomatic, I recovered, I now have the antibodies, and I'm good. For all I know, I haven't had the antibody test. A friend of mine who lives in London, said she had the antibody test and she came back clear. She's in the medical field in the UK. Um, she knew a doctor who could do the test for her and she asked to have the test. She came back clear. She thought she had it from early, late 2019 uh, because her entire family, uh, her husband, her, her two kids were struck down with some type of flu. Speaking of flu, the Charlie Delta Charlies have announced that they will be scrapping the Foxtrot Delta Alpha's use of the Papa Charlie Romeo's, uh, the, that test, Papa Charlie Romeo, because what they've discovered is that the Papa Charlie Romeo test does not know how to differentiate between the flu and the tenderona. So if you can't differentiate, think about all those possible false, ne uh, false positives of people who were wrongly diagnosed with having a tenderona, who never really had the tenderona, who really just had the flu. I mean, the argument as well is that these things have eradicated the flu. Now, Again, I'm a thinker. I use common sense, critical 
reasoning, logic. I use all of these things. And my question is, if this was instrumental in eradicating the flu, why wasn't it influential if they work? Why wasn't it eradicating the Rona, the Tenderona? I live in Japan. 99.999% of people in Japan wear these. They're, I see them wearing them less, but up to maybe just a month or so ago, I saw people driving with these, walking their dogs at six in the morning by themselves with no one around with these, people jogging with these, people cycling with these, people going to the supermarkets, everyone, from adults all the way down to kids, maybe young kids, no. But I'm not convinced that these things work. I'm just not. I talked about this in my video before about talking about all the gaps around and all that stuff. People say, oh, but Mark, the tenderona is more infectious and blah, blah, blah. You know, people trying to justify what could potentially be their, their hasty decision to get the, get the punch. You know, people, you see, this is what I've realized is that people may be having regrets. People may be experiencing some mild to severe adverse reactions, but they'll never come to me and say, you know what, Mark, I made a mistake because of that pride. They don't want to prove me right and prove themselves wrong. So, you know, especially when I see people as well getting their young kids, um, Get, getting getting their kids you know their kids are getting they're getting their kids punchinated <laughs> they're getting their kids punchinated and i was doc watching dr yeden who worked for the company who makes the viagra he worked for them for 17 years he headed up their punch program and he's dead against this thing he's a british doctor he's not an anti-puncher but he's anti this punch. And he said that kids between, I believe it's kids between the ages of zero to 19 or 18, the chances of death is 0.003%, right? That would mean like, I don't know the stats, but th that, that would mean that you basically, probably at least for kids, have a greater chance of falling down a flight of stairs and breaking their necks than dying from the tenderona. And I was watching an, a, a, a press conference a few weeks ago with these people who had either received the rona or had their kids, the, 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 they either, not received the rona, sorry, they received the punch. I hate speaking in code. They received the punch or their kids received the punch. This was in America. And this one woman stood out to me and I did a video about her on my Facebook um, and I made it public. But I was, I was annoyed with this mother who was on there talking about, <laughs> and we trust the science. And in the last five months, you know, she, she was a healthy uh, 12 year old. And in the last five months, we've had to rush her to the ER nine times. And she's crying and talking about how they trusted the science and all this rubbish. Now the kids messed up having all kinds of seizures. She was connected with the oxygen tank. You know, the little things in the nostrils and all that stuff. People messing up their kids. Why would you, why would you subject your kids to that? Um, I'm seeing reports about shedding, which is this thing where the adults who received it, they're kind of passing the stuff onto their kids because their kids are living so close to them in such close proximity. That's a real thing shedding there's this other doctor who talked about this thing i think it's called aed or something like that alpha echo alpha echo delta where um the jab is actually making the tenderoni worse and making those people more vulnerable to contracting the tenderona so i mean all these things all these things and these are these are things that have been verified and all this stuff Especially with the whole, I believe it's AED. I can't remember the exact uh, acronym now. But all these things, looking at all these different factors and all that stuff, I'm going to have to pass and I'm going to have to hold out for as long as possible. If these day jobs that I do start talking about compulsory and you can't return to work unless you get this compulsory thing and blah, 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 I'm going to have to quit. 
I'm gonna have to quit. My body, my choice, right? Isn't that what the liberals always say? My body, my choice. When they're really pushing that reproductive health care, don't they always say my body, my choice? Well, I'm gonna have to take that same stance. My body, my choice. But listen, I've gone over 20 minutes. I only wanted this video to be 10 minutes, but as these thoughts came to me, I just had to say what I had to say. But thank you so much for giving me your time for watching. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Go to the description section of my video. I really appreciate if you do. Um, and support your boy. Extreme Tees is my brand. T Crew, where I sell it here, trimmer for men. Shave, cut your hair, whatever. I sell that as well. Support your boy, the, the link's in the description. If you wanna work out, check out my workout program as well. If you wanna get in shape, lose weight, get all healthy and sexy, by all means check out my three websites um, i'll have discount codes for everything as well for all my subscribers who wanna you know patronize my businesses i don't ask for donations you know some people ask for donations through paypal or patreon or whatever i don't ask for do donations i do business and i ask for patronage that way but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really want to hear what you think in the comment section of this video. And uh, look out for more stuff. Take care. Peace.